Okay. My little Sam. <laughs> The rest of my life has suddenly turned into the sweetest adventure that I could never have planned or imagined because I'll live it forever with you. I love you. <laughs> I think we skipped ahead. I know. <laughs> <laughs> If someone had told me about this day eight years ago, I wouldn't have believed them. I probably would have called you to tell you all about it. All these years later, I'm so glad I didn't know what was to come and that our story got to unfold exactly as it was meant to. You have been the sweetest surprise of my life. It was this very month of July, eight years ago, that we took that fateful work trip to Memphis we deemed the date of that weekend our friend anniversary from then on and celebrated every year. Who does that? Nobody. <laughs> People who are going to get married in eight years. <laughs> our trip to the Grand Canyon is one of my favorite memories with you. There were more stars and planets and galaxy things than I ever thought was possible to see with my own eyes. You, of course, star chart in hand, <laughs> walked us through each constellation with infectious enthusiasm. Schooled me on how shooting stars are really just flying space garbage. <laughs> and how to tell the difference between a star and a planet. Stars twinkle. I've always loved your love of space. And the celestial bar was set impossibly high that night. I've been fascinated slash obsessed with fireflies my whole life. They are beautiful and so unexpected. This bright light in the darkness that you didn't see coming, that catches you by surprise, and that immediately gives me a sense that all is at peace and the world is even more magical than I already thought it was. That's you, Sam. <laughs> Loving you has broken open my entire world. We were brought together like an ocean tidal wave we couldn't resist if we tried. I'm overwhelmed by the kindness of the Creator to make us for each other and surround us with all this love and support. I'm so grateful. There's an ant. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look so pretty. Oh my God. Too much. It's been our greatest honor and our deepest joy watching your love blossom from this tiny little seed and grow into this amazingly beautiful flower that it is today. Cheers to love that makes us challenge our own views and challenge everything else. I love you guys. So when we were planning this wedding, we were like, we wanted to feel like Thanksgiving with our favorite people who have been our supports and the ones who have like loved us unconditionally and like ferociously <laughs> from the start. It just means so much that all of you are here and we don't take any of you for granted. We didn't have a wedding party, but if you all are here, we consider you that. Thank you to all of you. We will be here to wrap you in agape love from now until forever. To you're Sam, stuck with you're stuck with us. <laughs> to Sam and Mary. When I'm with you, I feel more seen, more cared for, and understood than I ever knew was possible. You have been unwaveringly brave in standing for us when it hasn't always been easy. And I promise to spend the rest of my days standing beside you for our family and making you feel as extraordinary, as supported, and taken care of as I feel when I'm with you. You always tell me that I'm brave, and I hear you, and I'm taking it in. <laughs> Being with you doesn't feel like it takes bravery to me. <laughs> there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. I can't wait to grow old with you 
and who knows, maybe even some gray hairs along the way. <laughs> He's got no gray hairs. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you for being exactly who you are and for loving me so well. I look forward to life with you every day. And as you always say, we're in this together forever. Love, Santa. <laughs> Sam and Mary have made promises to one another in the presence of God in this assembly and have sealed their promises with the giving and receiving of rings. Let their marriage be held in honor by all. With absolutely no authority whatsoever, <laughs> I now pronounce you married. Okay, grab your bird seed. Okay. I'm proud to introduce for the first time officially the Carter Orkies. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha